Hello everybody, this is Jason, and I'm going to show you how to set up your robot on Windows 8. The process should be nearly identical in other versions of Windows. Um, so first you want to make sure that you have Calico downloaded and working. Um, we're going to be using MyRo, which stands for My Robot, and that is something that is included in the Calico software. Next you want to make sure that you have a Squiggler robot and a Fluke dongle. On your Fluke dongle, you should have a sticker right here. Mine's actually been removed, but you should have a sticker right there. And uh, there will be a four character code on there that you want to look at and make sure you remember that. Um, so first what we're going to do is uh, attach our fluke to the squiggle robot on the front of it like that. Just like that. Um, and of course make sure that the robot has batteries in it and then we're going to turn it on. Now when it turns on, it's going to show some lights and it's going to beep, and you're going to want to wait a little while until it beeps again, and then you'll know that it's ready to connect to your computer. So in order for this to work, your computer is going to need Bluetooth capabilities, or you're going to have to buy a Bluetooth USB adapter. So let's assume you've bought that adapter or your computer has Bluetooth. Um, what we're going to do is go into Control Panel, and under Hardware and Sound, we're going to go to Add a Device. Now it's going to take a little while, but it's going to go through and find all the different devices it can connect to. Alright, so as you can see, there's quite a long list, and we're just going to look for Fluke. Alright, so here we see Fluke 2, and um, it has that exact same character code that would be on our sticker, which is, in this case, 06D4. It will be different for you. So we're just going to click that and then click on next and, and it's going to connect the flute to your computer using Bluetooth. Okay. Now it's just going to install these files on your system and make sure that it can connect. Now after this, what we want to do is make sure that it's properly installed, so we're going to go to Hardware and Sound, and then we're going to click on View Devices and Printers. As you can see, Fluke 2064 is here, and what we want to do is look at which port this is connected to. So we're going to right-click it and go to Properties, and then we're going to go to Services, and as you can see, it says COM6, so make sure you remember that port number. In this case, it's going to be COM6, but it might be different for you. So we're going to hit OK, and now we're going to go into Calico. So we can go to the shell, and what we're going to want to do is import stuff from Miro. So we're going to do from Miro import star, which means import everything from the Miro library. Make sure that M in Miro is capitalized or else it won't work. Okay, now we're going to make sure that our Squiggler software is up to date. So we're going to do from firmware upgrade import upgrade. And then we're going to do upgrade Squiggler. Now this could take a couple of minutes. Um, it's going to ask you for a port number, as you can see here, and we're just going to put COM6. Okay, so this could take a while. Um, in this case, uh, my scribbler firmware is already up to date, so it just says nothing to upgrade and OK. Once you see that it says OK or done, and um, this red button is no longer red, then you know that it has completed updating your scribbler. Now we can try to initialize our scribbler by typing initialize open close parentheses. It's going to again ask for port and we can type in com6 and then hit OK. Um, if you get this error unable to open the port, um, you might be able to fix this just by closing Calico and turning off your robot. Alright, now I can just turn the robot back on, and once again, wait for it to beep a second time. And we're just going to start up Calico again. Alright, so now we have Calico started. We're going to wait for the robot to beep again. Okay, so now the robot's ready to connect. And this time we'll do from Myro import star again. And we're just going to initialize. Open close parentheses. It's going to ask for the port number, and that hasn't changed, COM6, hit OK. And now you're going to see that it's going to say we're using this version of Fluke and Scribbler 2, 
and its name is success. So if we want, we can go and change the name to make sure everything's working using the set name function. And we can call it whatever we want. So I can call it Jason, and it's going to set the name to Jason. Now, once again, we can initialize and make sure that name changed went through. We can enter the port again, com6, and hit OK. And as you can see, the name has now changed to Jason. So uh, that is how to connect your robot on Windows 8. Um, hopefully everything worked out, and happy coding!